Do you want to make $600 per week on YouTube for free without having to show your face or use your own voice and spending one hour per week on this side hustle? Well, this channel is doing just that. Created in April this year, it has already got over 3.5 million in views, over 6,000 subscribers, and has only made 21 videos. And to make sure the channel is monetized, go to Google and search YouTube Monetization Check and click on the first link, copy and paste a video URL into here and click on Submit, and you can see it's monetized. This means it took them less than 120 days to get monetized. Looking through their social blade analytics, they are earning an estimated 2.8 thousand pounds per month. I'm going to show you a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide on how you can do the same for free with Canva. Make sure to watch to the end as I'm going to show you a bonus tip that no one else is showing. I'm going to show you how to create the video template, add transitions, add voiceovers, add sound effects, and it doesn't matter if you have the pro version or the free version, as I'm going to show you with both. Yes. The free version will take a little longer, but the end result will just be the same. So, let's get right into it. To create this quiz video, you need to go to ChatGPT and type in this prompt to generate the emojis and Disney movies. Then, come to Canva and under Templates search for YouTube Video Chapter. Click on Blank. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it in Canva Pro and then the free version. First we need a background of our video. Click on Elements and search Spiral Background. Go to Videos and we've got all these spiral ones to choose from. Click on the one you want to bring it on the canvas. Click on the three dots and select Set Video as Background. Now we have our background. Come to the timeline and we can reduce it to about five seconds. Then we go to Text, click on, add a heading and we're gonna put Guess the Disney Movie. We can change the font by clicking here and choose a font. Go to Effects and we can add a shadow to it to make it stand out. I'm going to change the color of the font. Then I'm going to go to ChatGPT and copy and paste the first emojis. Then click on Add Another Heading and we are going to put the Lion King. Click on Effects and I'm going to select Outline and center it. Now we need a sliding bar timer. We're going to go to Elements and go to Shapes. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to change the color to white by clicking Color. I'm going to do the same again and put it on top of each other and change the color. I'll choose Green. Click on Animate. For the sliding bar, it has to be the Wipe animation. Now, if you've got Canva Pro, you can change the speed. And we're going to slow it right down. Right-click on the three dots of the text and select Show Timer. I want the Lion King to come up on the last two seconds. Then click on the emojis and adjust the timing so it just shows for the first three seconds. Now click on Animate and choose the pop animation. So, the text and emojis will pop. So let's see how it plays. That's looking good. If you have Canva Pro, what we do is go to Apps. Click on Bulk Create and we're going to click on Enter Data Manually, scroll down and clear the table. Then go to Chat GPT and copy the table, making sure that the top of the table is selected and paste all of it into Canva. We don't need this column, so right-click and delete it. Then click on Done. So what we're going to do now is connect the data. So click on the emojis, then the three dots and then connect data. Then click on the text and then connect data. Then click on continue. We can see all the data is connected. And then click on generate. And as you can see, all of our slides have been generated. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro, don't worry about it. As this is what we're going to do in the free version. Click on background color and we're going to choose a background color. Make it slightly darker. Then click on elements and search for spiral background. Click on graphics and we're going to choose this one. I'm going to stretch it all the way out, past the canvas, and we're going to change the color to white. Then click on Transparency and make it transparent. Then click on Animate and select Rotation. As you can see, 
it looks like the Canva Pro version of the video background. And just like before, we're going to add a heading. Here we will increase the length of the video background. Click on Element and select Shapes, and it's this shape. I'm going to change the color to green, and instead of stretching it all the way out, what we're going to do is actually just do small blocks and add the wipe animation and copy and paste it until we reach to the very end, making sure that you can't see any visible gaps. Now we're going to show timing, and we need to make sure that each block swipes one after the other like a domino effect. This can take a while, and I know this example isn't perfect, but I'm sure you get the picture, so I'm going to move on to the next step. Copy and paste the emojis and movie titles from ChatGPT and make sure they are shown at the right time, like we did before, and duplicate the page. Again, copy and paste the emojis and the movie titles from ChatGPT one page at a time. To change the background color, all you need to do is move the spiral transparency graphic onto one side and select background color to change it. To add a transition, move your mouse over between the slides and click on Add Transitions. And we have different transitions to choose from. Select anyone you like. For our voiceover, we will go to 11 Labs. Copy and paste the words of the movie titles into here from ChatGPT. Make sure there's a full stop after each one because it gives you a pause after each one. Choose your voiceover. Click on the download symbol to download it. Then go to Canva and upload it there. Drag it onto the timeline and shorten the length of the audio to make sure it synchronizes with each movie. You will have to drag the audio multiple times onto the timeline to do this. Now you want to add a timer sound effect. For Canva Pro users, go to Elements and search for Timer and select Audio. You have lots of timer effects to choose from. However, if you have a free plan, don't worry. You can go to a place called Mix Kit. It has lots of sound effects. Search for Clock and choose one and download it. I have seen the license to it, but please do check the license for yourself. You can use it for YouTube videos. Just like before, upload the file to Canva and drag it onto the timeline and adjust it to where you want it to start playing. If you want to add a background music, you can go to YouTube Library or Pixabay to get your background music. I already have one uploaded. I'm just going to put it onto the timeline and reduce the volume from here. Once you're happy with everything, all you've got to do is then click on Share to download it. If for some reason your emojis do not download on your desktop, use the Canva app on your phone to download your video. Just for watching right till the end. I just want to give you a bonus tip on how you can make a white outline around your emojis in Canva. On a blank canvas copy and paste your emojis and put each emoji on one canvas. Then go to Share and click on Download. If you've got the Canva Pro version, click on Transparent Background and download it. If you have the free version, it doesn't matter, just click on Download. And you will need to do an extra step to remove the background by going to this site, uploading it there, and removing the background. Now you have your emojis with the background removed, upload them to Canva and place them on your quiz channel slide. Click on Edit Photo and select Shadows. Click on Outline and you can see there's an outline. Change the color to white and that's how you get your white outline around your emoji. Now what we need to do is to make sure that they pop at the same time. Drag your mouse across both of the emojis and then click on Group. You can see it has now become one image. Click on Animate and select Pop. You can now see that they both pop up at the same time. Thanks for watching and stay awesome.